All right, yeah, so we're by sorrel or back. Um, trying to catch some sacks and bass and brim and catfish or whatever bites. Here with Tommy, the legend. I'm not back. Tearing him up. First time. He's back. First time in this boat. Boat did great coming in. Cross fingers on the way out. I got some niblet juice on my finger. So we'll be back. Hey, we got a, a couple catfish and a small bass. About a probably about a three pounder. Not bad. So we're gonna start getting them. We got a dude in the back back there that crane stone cold killer back there. All right, we'll be back and catch some more. Late. All right, yeah, so we got this little dude. Beautiful fish. We're gonna, I think we're going to probably do good. We'll see. I don't know. We came to cycle fish, but if we have to bass fish, we will. All right, later. I was getting my camera out. Got some fish coming in right there. Little cat. I'm going to throw him back. You are. Yeah. you want him? No. <laughs> yeah, throw, throw him back, bro. I don't, know I don't know what we got, but hopefully a little brim or a sack or something. Let's go. Oh, God. Dog. <laughs> Dude wanted that cricket some kind of bad. Yeah, Let's go. That's nice right there, son. <laughs> It's like, I don't know what it is, but some will be kind of big. Oh, nice. Right there. The bass are on fire this morning. Yeah, we're going to catch some bass instead of sacks, I'm afraid. Not afraid, but let's go. Look at that shit. Yeah, baby. I just foul hooked his ass. Nice bream. You got. So we got catfish, we got catfish and bass biting crickets. And then I, of course, hung, so that's awesome. So we got this random, maybe I'll catch another, maybe I'll catch another catfish on the spinnerbait. So you know what that shows you, Hmm. I was way out here, so get your, get your arm in. Here we got another bass. I shouldn't have given Tommy my bass baits. They're right there on that. On that Let me see what you got. Boom, baby, football. Football. I'll take the got football. It. Got this little guy. Super red eyes. Pretty fish, though. Now. Now we're catching some big ones. Are we keeping him? No. <laughs> something happening we figured out there's a little bit of a ledge right here that's where they're at they're on the edge of that ledge yep they're deeper pretty fish got this dude hopefully let's oh, go yeah, football big football got a professional size football it's good fish Let's go. Oh, um, I'm not on. What? Did you know he just grabs it? Yeah, it. that was pretty. Nice fish right there. I knew it was going to be. Cat fish crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's so great. Oh yeah. That's a pretty fish. I don't know what I know. Is that a brown? Mm. Pretty fish. What is this? Is this a gargola? Let me see. If he's got a big mouth, it's a gargola. Yeah, that's a gargola. That's a pretty fish. Almost yellow when he's looking when he was flopping around in I think moving. he's a vampire. He has some twilight eyes. Oh, that was going to be a fish for sure. Yeah, he had it. So. Yeah. That's a good one. Not a bad fish. Yep. 
Yes, please. He, this dude pulls this fish up and says, it's a sack. <laughs> Get my heart. Oh, ass. catfish. Nice looking fish right there. <laughs> the boat's sort of a little wobbly. It's okay. You're doing great. As long as you walk in the middle, we won't flip. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get these sacks here, it's just not going in tight, going out deep, changing the colors. It's real muddy water. Not really sure about the sacks. The bass are doing pretty good. Catching some cats and broom here and there. Catching fish. One little guy. A little football. Finally. Oh, it hit it. Hung. Hung up. Alright. So, McLeany's fish. We caught. I don't know. I think we got a limit of bass in there somewhere. But I got this new table for my birthday. And that's pretty cool. The wife got me this fish cleaning table and it's got a little sink washing my fish and it comes out this little tube here at the bottom that's pretty cool out into our little drain there but yeah I got plenty of room to clean got the little sinky sink and also I got this uh, cordless fillet knife that comes in this case pretty cool i just was charging the batteries it comes in this little with this little charger here charge it for a couple of days you know just stuck it on there this is the little battery here this is bass pro xps extreme blah 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 i'm gonna try it out on my clean these fish with it we'll see how it goes so here's a knife Got this battery I had it charging. Plug it in there. I think that's it. Nice. Got these blades, man. Some of these blades are, whoo. I think they're for like turkeys and stuff. They're huge. And it has this one. I've heard this one was the best. A little six inch blade. It's got this cool thing. Cool blade here that's cut off. Eight incher. Not sure if that's gonna be, might be good for my fish. I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this one first, I think. It looks kind of cool. I don't need this one for the tiny fish I caught today. But we're gonna get it going. I think it's kind of simple. I've heard that you need to so you push this to get this off. And putting these blades on, take that battery out so you don't cut your G dang finger off. So that's a good safety rule uh-oh let's go so it looks like it might work all right so these are some of the bass we caught never used this blade before but we'll see looks kind of neat i don't know if this thing is waterproof or what i'm hoping it is but uh you know not massive this is a you know a little 12 inch or something I don't know, I think that one just jumped in. I saw him jumping and I think he actually jumped in. And then there's a bunch of little assorted brims and catfish in here. I'm gonna clean them in a little bit. Yup. So let's uh, get, to, get to it. Okay, let's see if this thing works. May or may not work great. We shall see. That cuts pretty good. Pretty quiet. Not 
bad. Super quiet and sharp. I don't know what this weird blade is for, but it's not bad. Oh, just kind of angled up on that one. Jacked it up a little bit, but not bad. But I need to. I need to. Let's do one more with him. This might not be the best bleed. I need it off the edge like this. Just kind of how I roll. Pretty good. First time on this table and with this knife. So that's used to my other setup, but I think I could get used to this setup. I need it maybe over here, huh? It's like a slaughterhouse. All right, I think this blade's too long. switch blades and try another one all right I'm gonna try this uh, six inch blade maybe this one will work a little better first one wasn't bad gotta get used to the if this thing is powerful or not oh yeah this one is a little better felt myself cutting through that backbone a little bit kind of slick I'm gonna try to slide away from me with this curved blade. See when I'm cutting it, it pulls away, see that? Tries to run away. Yeah, hmm, that's different. Not used to a curved blade. I usually use one of those Mr. Twisters. And the Mr. Twister has flat blade, so it's gonna take some getting used to. I'll have to turn that blade sideways and Make sure that I don't cut it. Make sure to cut it at an angle like that. It's still not bad. Let's do one more. You said the flat blade. That's just it feels kind of weird. It's not bad, dude. Not see, I miss that meat. Look at that whole bunch of meat missed cutting through cut that off Let's try to slide away with the curved blade I'm not sure that's gonna work out might take some time one more nice to not have to hook up to the cord and all that but It tries to pull up and eh. jacking it up. Getting some of the meat, but I'm missing some too. All right, well, that's it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll we'll have to work on it. All right, later.